guys and welcome back to Russ and Karen's podcast and of course this is Raw at the show baby we on the road to I was gonna say we're on the road to WrestleMania okay 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 well actually we're on the road to the elimination chamber for <laughs> there's so many things coming up um but we got the super showdown coming up too if you're cool for that too well we got the elimination chamber and we got WrestleMania so many things coming up um, but anyway, so now this is the WWE Ask Shows, and don't forget to check out all the stuff down below in the description below. Check the eye with the latest gameplay, and it will be down below in the description below as well, always. What I will have the channel in the what can as well. Um, and the gameplay, I wanted to do something different. <clears throat> something new. And I figured seeing as the news, as you can't see me, is coming back. I figured... One that involved John Cena in it, so that is the motivation behind that delightful video. Okay, anyways, let's get on to it. I'm sorry that I missed last yesterday, well, and last week. Last week was crazy, but this week it's crazy too. On top of being sick, having a sick kid, and working, and being busy. Life. Anyways, oh, this is um, the honey citrus mint tea for all those who are coffee well, or Starbucks fans. Why well, was I going to say coffee? I don't know. I had coffee in my mind, I guess. I guess because I'm still mad that they didn't have any nitro cold brew. <laughs> Anyways, happy Valentine's Day also. Okay, well, let's get on into it, of course. Mm, yeah. Alright, this is Raw. And, uh, of course, this is this week's Raw. <laughs> I can't believe that it's almost like the end of like February. We're like rolling into March. <clears throat> Anyways, it's crazy. Anyways. Um. Uh, I'm sorry. Seth Rollins opens the show as um the Monday Oh my god. I hate his new nickname, Monday Night... M I don't even know if they got to the my last name. Messiah? Is that how you say it? I don't even know. Sometimes I feel like he's saying, you know, um, Monday Night Mariah. You know, like Mariah Carey. I'm <laughs> just kidding. But seriously, it's stupid. And of course, he came out with Murphy and AOP. Um, Ron says he's here to lead us to the future. Um, but of course, eventually he gets interrupted. Oh, jeez. Jeez. But of course, he wants to address um, what happened last week when AOP and Murphy faced the Bucky Riders and Kevin Owens. Seth Rollins says he was, um, was costing an opportunity at Brock Lesnar and the WWE Championship and that it was something that he could not tolerate and blah, blah, blah. Owens interrupts Rollins um, and Owens says he had enough and that he not only uh, sounds but also looks stupid. What is with that jacket? It looks really weird. Anyway. Um, Kevin Owens says, um, that he is not alone as the Viking Raiders come out to help. Rollins says that Kevin Owens' problem is not making sure that his partners are kept up tight. And, of course, he does hit him a few times, and I guess to show that they don't calm down easy. I don't know. I don't know, but that is funny. Okay. Alright. Alright. And then we see, um, don't come down to the ring and eventually Seth is taken out by um some Moa Joe so Becky Lynch versus Asuka for the Raw Women's Championship Becky Lynch won and retains the Raw Women's Championship after the match Shayna Blazer attacks Becky from behind Shayna takes um Becky um out with the I'm not even gonna try to say that Karnka Funka Kalanch I can never say her or most of the moves these days, before it literally biting a piece out of Becky's neck. Now, I don't know how, because, like, there's so many things that are storyline and faked and I don't even know anymore. But seriously, though, if it was real and she actually did do that, isn't that, like, health-like dangerous? Because, like, you don't, no offense, I don't know health stuff going on with either of those people, but, like, like, personally... But, like, I don't think anyone would want someone else's mouth biting them if you don't know, A, if they have any diseases, 
B, um, where the dog bed? I'm just saying. Like, I'm, I'm assuming that it was not, you know, like, legit, like, but <laughs> just the way it looked, though, is what people would think, like, did she actually do that? Or is that just, like, you know, you know what I mean? It's just weird. It still looks stupid and dumb and kind of insane and crazy and, yeah. That would be for you. Okay, Mojo Rally and uh, Rigic Ross versus um, Street Profits. Street Profits won. Mojo Rally is asking Moss what happened, and of course, Moss eventually gets the 24 7 title and runs off. Blah blah blah. MVP does the VMP launch and uh, um, blah blah blah. And his guest is, of course, Drew McIntyre. Am I the only one that didn't really dig MVP? I'm just gonna leave that out there. <sighs> I mean, I don't really get, like, excited, excited. I mean, like, it's awesome, but, like, I don't know. Alright. Alright, um, and of course, um, MVP says that he's uh, thrilled to have Drew McIntyre out in the rain. And he reminds McIntyre of his accomplishments in the past few weeks. MVP says that some people are saying that Drew is not ready for the WWE Champion yet. And then he says that he, we are. Um, it says that then the we um, are that we are going to change that, and, and of course he gets mad at the way that MVP uses we, and blah blah blah. We're just gonna skip through this stuff. Eventually, Drew just attacks MVP. That's pretty much it. <laughs> um, Angel Gar Garzea versus Cedric Alexander. Um, Angel Garzea won. I'm so sorry, my voice is horrible. That's why I didn't want to do it yesterday, and today it's still sounding like I'm a, I don't know, a ho I would say horse, but I don't think so. Mm. That's why I'm in seven on that. Okay. Rhea Ripley versus Sarah Logan. Um, Rhea Ripley won. Buddy, um, Bobby Lashley versus Ricochet. Ricochet won. Randy Orton is, of course, coming out to explain his actions, blah, blah, blah. Eventually, um, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't need to explain his actions, pretty much to what he said. Um, he says what he did to Edge, um, hurt him more than it hurt Edge. Uh, Matt Hardy came up, interrupts him, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Matt Hardy says he knows everyone is thinking why he cares about Edge. He makes that Owen hated Edge more than he did, but he came, he, but before he was best friends with Edge and traveled, um, but before he was best friends with him and he traveled a long time with him. And he knows together with Edge, his brother, and, um, Christian and the Dullies, they've been in the TLC match and stole the show together. Matt Hardy admits that he stopped hating Edge when the Ready R Superstar was forced to retire. Randy tries to RKO Randy when he, um, pins Orton off and they fight, but Orton gets the upper hand and he's the RKO. Um, and the, <laughs> and of course he brings in the chairs, like last time with Edge. Um, and he hits our, um, Matt Hardy with the con chair too. I, I feel like that name is just weird. I mean, Alistair Black versus Erica Dazara. Alistair Black won. Becky's out to address what happened earlier tonight. Becky is calling out Sheena right now. She says that if Shayna wanted her attention, then she got it. Becky said that she hoped that Shayna would better find her before Becky finds her. Seth Rollins, Buddy Murphy, and AOP versus um, Kevin Owens and Samoa Joe in the Viking Raiders in an eight-man tag match. Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy and AOP won. The show ends with Rollins, a uh, Murphy, and AOP celebrating their win. And Randy, Samina, 70. Um, great show matches, you know. Anyway, so that's what I'm guessing. Thank you for all at the show. I'll see you guys soon before, of course. Smackdown at the show. Go check out also down below as always. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button somewhere in this area. Check out the latest video. And of course, check it out as always. I'll see you guys soon. Until then, have a good day. Bye.